seen the previous episodes my name is Abdullah Almir and this is the cultural education series by the note in today's episode we'll be focusing on the concept of a Marathi majlis and its significant uh, value in the Marathi culture while I leave my guests to uh, catch up with one another uh, let me give you a little background on the Marathi majlis <laughs> So what is a majlis? A majlis is basically a sitting place where community gathers around to exchange news, to discuss local events and issues, and to socialize. Majlis also serves other purposes, such as um, uh, holding wedding receptions and funerals. Uh, so who is welcome at a majlis? Well, everyone and anyone, be it family members, friends, neighbors, and even travelers and strangers. A captivating fact that might intrigue you is that back in the days for sailors and pearl divers, the boat itself would serve as a majlis where they would gather around and discuss the weather, the ships, fishing and diving, and the hardships that they find at sea. Inside the majlis, you will notice a portrait of a man and you will wonder if he is the host. We assure you that he is not. Sheikh's portraits are highly regarded in the UAE and you will often see them in public spaces and institutions like hospitals and banks. In this particular majlis, we have a portrait of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, may he rest in peace, the founder and the visionary of the United Arab Emirates charismatic, wise, strong-willed, courageous, and well-respected. We keep his memory alive by hanging the portraits in our majlises. In fact, Isa and I were just discussing the importance of majlis in the Arab culture, and he shared a story that I thought was fascinating. Hello, everyone. I've always known the majlis to be a legendary icon of altruistic Arab hospitality even long before Islam came to the peninsula. Arabs attribute great value to their guests. Being a high context culture, we often rely on non-verbal social cues. Back in the day, it is said that when a man wanted to get married and didn't have the means to, he would go to the market and buy a tray of sweets. He would then head back to the majlis and place it in the middle. The men would understand his situation. They would then take one sweet and place money in its place. This does indeed indicate the incredible worth of a guest and the generosity that Arabs displayed to help each other in times of need. Shukran Isa. With that, we conclude today's episode. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.